You guys, how's it going? Galactic Geek. Today I've got my hands on Doctor Strange from the Spider-Man No Way Home Marvel Legends wave. Take a look at this guy out of the packaging. He looks awesome. The face sculpt on these guys uh, on the Marvel Legends are getting better, I will say. And the sculpt uh, pattern on the uh, on his cape looks awesome on both sides. He's got some different stuff there. I'm sure it looks a little more detailed in the movie, but for Marvel Legends, pretty good. And again, look at that hair. That's awesome. I think they did a really good job on the likeness. And he's got the eye there on his neck, and, uh, which is also removable when he's not wearing this cape thing. It's pretty sweet. Um, you can take that off, and it's actually just stuck on there with the peg, as you can see there. This one comes off pretty easily, but it's also pretty snug when it's on. I mean, look at that detailing there on his belt and all those straps and stuff. That looks awesome. Especially, again, for a Marvel Legend, which, you know, $22 toy, you can't really expect much. you got the classic double-jointed uh, elbows. Well, this guy's pretty stiff. I don't know what's going on there. But as, you know, if you collect Marvel Legends, you know they all have, most have double jointed elbows and knees as well. And he has this, um, like his cloth thing that's hanging down is super soft plastic. And it has some slits in it there, which actually is pretty cool because it allows you uh, to be able to pose them. Have some great uh, posability out of the, instead of that hindering the articulation, which is a nice little touch. And uh, again, Marble Legend, uh, they have double jointed knees and like swivels on their ankles and some toe articulation depending on the character usually. But I mean, yeah, that, I think that sculpt is awesome. Let's take a look at some of the accessories that he comes with here. And first up is his cape, wizard cape thing. It's got a little bit of gold detail right there on the um, cuff there, but this uh, detail on both sides of the cape, I think are really, really nice for a Marvel Legend. And I'd say the coolest accessories that he comes with are these two hands that are permanently fixed on these, like, spell, magic spell hand, which I think is just cool. Instead of them plugging in, they're just, that's just how they come. Nice and snug and glued on there for you. It's a sweet accessory. Then he has some additional hands, like gun holding hands, which is what I call them, which, what is the point of these? I don't know. But, yeah, he can hold two pistols if you need them to, I guess. And then also he's got this uh, Build-A-Figure piece, classic Marvel Legend style. I think it's like Armadillo is the character. I don't know who really gives a shit. Uh, some sweet shots of this guy. I mean, again, Marvel Legends are usually hit or miss, but for $22, sometimes you can get a pretty sweet fig. And I missed this guy the first time around, so I'm glad I was able to pick him up this time. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys.